Hey moms, let's talk. Ba ching Ooh, that was a nice, you know, cheers. Ching. Thing. We always we sometimes like it falls flat. Call. Sometimes <laughs> it's really good. Like you'll have the this nice. This is like, a good ching. Yeah. Reverb sound. But anyway. And well, hopefully you're having a good week. We are back. It's actually a Tuesday. It is Nobody's actually a sick. Tuesday. It is beautiful and sunny outside. Yes. It is Easter season. Goodbye, Lent. Goodbye, cold and rain and sick because I'm, we were sick before. Y'all were. Oh, just our, me. Our, our household she was, was not. Listening. We were fine. <laughs> She's like, Praise I would like to, to claim. We are fine. But I am not missing. Right. <laughs> Which, I, you know, I have to say, so whenever we do these Tuesday things, I like to have a little pop of color on my nails. Okay. Did you um, today, pop? today I did not color pop. I don't I did color my, pop. I got I my want, nails done today. Very boring. No, but that, that, but that, you're, you're nice. That, that, that's your flavor. I'm that's nice your, that's, and boring. <laughs> no, not at all. Consistent. Let's, let's use that. And but consistent. today. Wow. It keeps getting better. <laughs> Okay, so instead of a color pop today, which is what I usually like to do, I kind of went with like a natural theme, which is very new for me. And I feel like with the Easter season, with the spring, new I, a new, new life, I, I feel like what's most natural this time of year is, is welcoming like a, you know, a breath, maybe a breath of fresh air, but just new life. I feel like, yeah, now is the time to just welcome that new life after yeah. the dullness, the, the sacrifice, uh, you know, going out this crazy Lent. Uh, I, uh, those of us in North Texas kind of, we were <laughs> forced to be more penitent than usual with that winter snowstorm of the century. Mm. It's just, I feel like this is new life. So I'm, I'm starting like a new, like all a new you. fresh and new and natural. Love it. Thanks. Not that this Love is all about me, but I just felt, sure is. I felt, <laughs> I, exactly. This is my show, y'all. Cheers. Hey, Cheers to Romina. <laughs> And the natural new me. Okay. Anyway, well, we talked about. I had my big, small uh, talk. my big. Is it half century? Golly, that makes it sound worse. We don't think that. Long yeah. It's uh, one of the lovely things that is coming. Fifty years back blessed. Is that when I went? Do you guys have problems sleeping? I now have problems sleeping. Never had that. But like when oh. I wake up, I'm wide awake. I I feel like I'm my like my ninety year old aunt who gets up at three in the morning and starts laundry because she can't go back to sleep and goes to sleep at eight. Which I still don't do that. I still stay up really late. I feel like you don't really sleep though. I, I get yeah. text messages from you at all hours of the day <laughs> and night. Anyway. So if I've texted you in the middle of the night, <laughs> I'm sorry, but really, come on guys. This is like 2021. You should have your phone on silent at night and just <laughs> let the rest of us carry on our business. Uh, well, I was, so this is like, this kind of all kind of pulls in. I was um, listening to the, my little form app talk at the, the middle of the night because mm -hmm. I have to listen to things to go back to sleep. To mm -hmm. sleep. Mm -hmm. And they have this awesome quote. This is like, I just want to just jump right in and share this with you. It was by right. Augustine. And it says, we need to know ourselves so that we may know God. Mm -hmm. We need to know ourselves so that we may know God. And in the wisdom of the church, and like when I, we've gone through, you know, having kids getting confirmed and, or just teaching if your kids go to a Catholic schools, you know, to, we are made to know, love, and serve God and how much yes. knowing is important. And we yes. think of that and how do we know God? Like, do we know some of the facts of God? We read the Bible. We learn our catechism, the way that he's revealed himself. Mm -hmm. But I love thinking about, too, that he knows us and he created us and that we are known. Like in Psalm 139, is that it's like he knows my inmost being. Like, I don't even know my inmost being. And I've been only living this life, you know, and how amazing that is, like that we can get to know ourselves better by staying close to him. Right. And um, so anyway, so here's this quote, which I really loved. And I usually don't get all philosophical on, on saying quotes, but it says, <laughs> um, but yeah, so we need to know ourselves we need to know ourselves that we know God. And in knowing ourselves, we are more human. And that was Augustine, right? Yes. Augustine yes, that. we did vet that earlier. I had to Google, Google, I had to Google that because I don't remember. I don't have really concrete memories from like four in the morning. But That's okay. Hey, sometimes so your creativity comes most alive Absolutely. in the middle of the night. In insomnia. Yeah. And Absolutely. You know what? And better than your mind being idle, like why not think of the... Things that saints yeah. say. Things Absolutely. that saints say. That's. I'm sure that's like a podcast somewhere. I mean, it should be. It Don't steal our me. idea. <laughs> and if you already have it, we're, we're not stealing. Okay, I so I started, this is where I started <laughs> pondering. It says that we are more human. And mm -hmm. I was, think about it, like, are we just, well, we're human by birth. Like, we're human by species. But, like, I know what they mean by human. Human being our divine nature. And mm -hmm. how, I often think of that, like, we're human as 
in as much as that we are in the image and likeness of God. And so what is that? You know, and you can't do anything apart from him. And so I started thinking, because you have a lot of people nowadays say, like, your truest self is your instinct. Your truest self is when sure. you have this particular desire or this, you're mad about this or you want this or this, this way. And that's your truest self. And to tell yourself what to do is old school, it's traditional, it's putting yourself in a box, it's trying to be mm -hmm. someone you're not. Mm -hmm. But, so I started thinking, human. Humans are, we're kind of, we're mammals, you know, like animals, but we have a divine nature. We're, we're made in the image and likeness of God. So what do us and animals have in common? <gasps> That's where my mind was. Well, okay. <laughs> I really don't even know where to take this. I'm yeah. just, I'm like, I'm hanging on to every single word so, that you're saying. I have no so idea where you're going with both, this list. Both <laughs> people and animals. This is where a human versus mammal. So I'm kind of going with this. Okay. So what is it to be okay. human? Because the current culture would like to tell you to really be yourself is to like not, never tell yourself what to do. Okay. Rails off, just go. Right. Mm -hmm. But is it? And they like to say that it's going. old school, it's traditional, it's putting yourself in a little box to ever tell yourself what to do. Like you're being, you're just caving in to whatever it is. Ten, so, okay. Okay. But both people and animals, humans and mammals, are physical beings. Correct. Both of them seek comfort. Right. You know, like if an animal's cold, they want to get warm. If a human's They're, cold, they want to get warm. Right. If you step on something prickly, you move away from it. Same right. with animal, blah, 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 blah. If we're hungry, we eat. You both want, <laughs> right. They both want food and they we're look for drink. food. Like right. my, we will find food, whether it's sure. hunter-gatherers or us at a pantry. My, sure. my dog right. likes to go to the pantry as right. well and scavenge on the ground. Um, <laughs> they both, but it's not just dog. You know, if you think of like a dog or whatever in a human being, it's not just yeah, you know, the food, comfort, but like dogs like to play. They like, they're not just drones of eating like a plant, sure. like sun food. Sure. Not, like they have a personality, they have to play. Can be and moody like, like humans. To play. Yeah, people like to play. Yes. But the biggest difference, you ready? I, mean, I think I know, but why don't you, why don't you wow us? Both Give take, us a zinger. both take comfort, uh -huh. both take shelter, uh -huh. both take food, uh -huh. both even take pleasure. Like yes. they like, they take their belly being rubbed or yes. like a, so a shoulder massage. Yes. But humans in the image and likeness of God, in the steps of Holy Week and of our Savior, give. Yeah. In, mm -hmm. I don't know about Let you, me process but what, for a second. I mean, people, you have to tell yourself to give. I, I just don't think, I think that is our divine nature. Like, especially after this Lent and after Holy Week and after all that we've thought of over the last few weeks or month. Okay. Realize, like, it's not, you're not being taken from. Like, our ability to give is the way that we are most divine. It is the way we will know ourselves the most. Mm -hmm. It is the way that we will be proud of ourselves, we will self-actualize, we will mm -hmm. do whatever, but it's mm -hmm. like, it's in that giving. Like an artist is an artist in putting pen to paper and creating and doing and giving of themselves. Mm -hmm. A cook gives them themselves, they create. Mm -hmm. A doctor gives of their talents. Like, so I guess my question is, what do you give? You know, to like flip uh, it over. Like don't look at giving, like, or look at giving less like, uh, I'm giving away all my food and I'm empty. I'm giving away all of my bread and my apples and my water. Right. But just you are becoming, you are getting molded into the image and likeness of God. And that is what Jesus, the prophets constantly did, but then God came to earth and showed us again and again and again. God gave water, you know, Jesus, the woman at the well, would give blessing, would give water, would give, you know, multiply the food, the fishes and the loaves. Like, but then he gave his life and that's, what makes us divine? Amen. Isn't that amazing? Amen. I just thought that was it is so amazing. Cool. It is amazing. But and I so, love, like, I, so just I love your, that, your like, insight. So, okay, for those of us, for, you know, when you hop on, ladies, I don't know where, I'm saying ladies, I don't know where in the world you are right now. Um, that's very, what Celeste just did, that was very theological and also philosophical, I think. <laughs> and to have done that in, during her insomnia and, you know, the wee hours of the morning or like just where it's so late that it's early kind of thing. <laughs> um, I, 
Okay, some of us are, we're kind of, I'm, I'm just, I'm a little, okay, that, that went over me. No, I mean, not that I don't understand yes. it, but I want to process it to where the people who are hopping on are like, how can I take this? How can I soak this in? How can I live this? Yeah. It's in the giving. It's in the fact that we give is what differentiates And that's kind us. of where you self-actualize. John Paul II was really into that. Like the people, dis you discover yourselves. An artist right. discovers themselves by putting forth their creation. Like, a cook yes. discovers himself. A doctor discovers themselves. A lawyer, like my finding a case. It is work. Right. It is in work that we discover our truest Amen. self. And so what that bring, let's bring this all full circle. Why we even brought this, why we even came to an existence with this community of you all moms <laughs> with this community i mean i mean Rowena let's talk hey moms let's talk no 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 what i'm saying is let's let's bring it back to what binds us all together and that's motherhood yeah. i actually was in a conversation with actually the woman who was doing my nails earlier today and i told her i feel like this is not very deeply theological or philosophical but i feel like i have not fully lived my life until i became a mother amen Cheers. Amen. Amen. Cheers. 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 Yes. Oh. And so, if, are we still talking? It's because I'm just saying it's because. <laughs> what, in what other capacity are you always everything? Giving That's the, is the essence thing. of what motherhood is. It's we, giving, giving of yourself. Yes. And right? we have the best job because yeah. every every other job you put forth what you want. It's very sterile. It's very compartmentalized. Uh. You go and you give of your time and talent specifically. Yeah. But. Motherhood takes from you. It does. It is not always on your terms. <laughs> That's true. So let like get ahead of it and give. And the good news, I, I I'm not very good at this sometimes, but um, if I was reminded in John 15, 5, it's our Bible verse for the week. Mm. But it just says, so the vine and the branches one, but it just says, like, apart from me, you can do nothing. And the call we are given, we are called to cultivate. Oh, and the call she gave me a little magic. You'll, you'll, you'll find cultivate. out why later. Um, <laughs> and that call is from God, and it's a divine call. And to mm. be a mother is the best job there is. And it is going, engaging that and embracing that and allowing ourselves to be taken from mm. and flipping around and getting it ahead and hopefully giving and just finding the joy in that. We are going to discover more about ourselves because it pushes us. And I just think it's. So exciting, but apart from me, you can do nothing, says God. So lean in, hug the cross, let him drag you along if you need to sometimes. But like Divine Mercy Sunday, by the way, Christmas happy Sunday. Divine Mercy happy Sunday Divine from Sunday. Happy Divine Mercy Sunday, St. Maria. Um, Christina, just time. suck out, or just take in all those graces. <laughs> <laughs> what did I mean to you're say? Trying to, you're trying to absorb it as quickly absorb. as you possibly absorb. can. You're like, suck it up. I can't get enough. <laughs> so absorb the graces. <laughs> what is the word I wanted? I don't know. Absorb. Yeah. Anyway. Absorb. But just attain. Get all those graces. Just be open to absorbing all those graces that God has gone before us and he wants this for us. And um, let's let's be more fully human this week. Amen. 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 We'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks guys. Love you.